Hello guys, Silverblade22 bringing you another Silver Star of the Future. Today we're going to be looking at the ever popular Ira Mendy. Now I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, give me a correction in the comments. This guy is 23 years old. He massively helped Real Sociedad last year. I watched a lot of their games. They came fourth in the league ahead of like Malaga, Seville, all them sort of things. He's been compared to Xavi Alonso. And he has just signed for Real Madrid, well, a few weeks ago, for a whopping 32 million euros, which apparently can rise to about 36 million euros, which is insane for a guy who's 23. Just unbelievable. But, yeah, this is the team I played him in. It's kind of a standard 4-2-3-1, but I actually, I played him quite a bit. I tried him at CDM and centre mid as well. I didn't try him at Cam, but I thought I'd give him a go at centre forward, in, right in the heart of the midfield, because this is kind of a typical Spanish team with five midfielders and one attacker. So I just thought I'd give him a go there. And he was just, well, yeah, I'll tell you in the video what he's like. But let's have a look at some of his card stats. He's got 67 pace, 60 shooting, 81 passing, 75 dribbling, 67 defence and 60 heading. And this guy cost me about 219k, but you can get him for cheaper than that. It's just there wasn't many on the market. I think the others were about 300k. The His physical attributes are, yeah, they're pretty decent. They're kind of, this kind of, his card's kind of well-rounded, I would say. He's got decent strength. Decent acceleration, not so great sprint speed. He's got great mental attributes. Look at that vision. 81 vision is amazing. I love that vision. He's got some pretty, some kind of standout stats here. He's got 85 long pass, 89 short pass on a silver is amazing. Medium, medium work rate. So I kind of didn't really notice that. I kind of found his positioning kind of took him into the positions that I wanted him to be in anyway, wherever I played him on the pitch. Look at his passing. That is just phenomenal. Just to pick out a pass like that, not even, you know, that, that must be a good sort of 50-yard pass that... Anyway, as I, just before, I forgot to say or mention, I, I guess you could, uh, guys could all see, but this is the Man of the Match version. I have tried the normal version quite a few times, and the normal version is decent, but obviously I prefer the Man of the Match version because he's got such better passing. But anyway, let's talk about whether this guy is kind of the same as what he plays like in real life. Well, well as I say, I watched a lot of Real Sociedad last year. I, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I watched maybe five or six, seven games, something like that, and he played in all of them, and he was a real... He was really the star of the team. He played in the middle and he just pinged ball around. And I would say, to compare him to a player sort of from the Premier League, I would sort of compare him to sort of like Paul Scholes. I know he's retired now, but he, he just sort of sits there, pings the ball around like it's nothing. And the the FIFA player is kind of similar. I did really enjoy using this player. And ironically, I think probably having him at centre forward was probably my favourite, despite the fact his finishing was pretty, pretty bad, especially outside the box, which is quite surprising. Well, I mean, it's not that surprising when you look at his, you know, real-life stats, but when you look at his in-game stats... His finishing, it feels like it should be better. But in real life, I don't think he's ever scored for Real Sociedad. I think he's maybe scored for Real Sociedad B. But, yeah, I mean, as far as an actual player on FIFA goes, I would definitely recommend him. His price is a little bit high. If you can't afford the Man of the Match one, definitely go out and get the normal version. This is what I predict he'll be rated on FIFA 14. I just think he's going to go up quite a lot because he's at Real Madrid. I don't think he'll go up to, you know, much over 80. Uh, maybe 81 tops, but I think he's going to have incredible passing and good dribbling on the next game and crazy defensive stats as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Cheers.